Dragon Ball Super episode 107 is now officially in the history books as we're going to move on forward into Dragon Ball Super episode 108 and joining me here today for the first time is a close friend of mine by the name of Dazael. A lot of you guys may know him from my live stream, from Emish's live streams. He actually creates some really cool, you know, sprite animations and whatnot. You guys might want to go on ahead and check his channel out as we're going to be further discussing our thoughts and predictions going into Dragon Ball Super episode 108. And again, if you guys agree or disagree, disagree with myself or Dazael, post your comments down below as to your overall expectations and thoughts going into next week's episode. Daz, I want to welcome you onto the channel for a one-on-one -on -one discussion. I know you saw Dragon Ball Super episode 107, and to me, I thought it was a really good episode. It, it definitely foreshadowed, you know, the things that are going to be happening in, in, in the next episode with Frieza and Frost. And going into next week's episode, judging based on what we saw in the preview, what I wanted to know first, because th this has been like a controversy within the community. Some people think that Frieza is kind of using this whole Frost gimmick as a ploy to get Frost to trust him to ultimately betray him, while other people believe that, in fact, that he may in fact betray his own team and, you know, go about, you know, being a lone wolf here. So, in your opinion, do you think that next week is going to be the defining moment to where Frieza turns his back on Universe 7, or... Do you think that this is some sort of like a tactic or a ploy just to get Frost to trust him in eliminating him? Because a lot of people seem to believe that either A, he's going to betray them, or B, he's just doing this as a way to trick everybody into furthering his agenda. So what I wanted to know from you first things first is, what are your overall expectations for Frieza going into next week's episode in terms of him having to confront Gohan and either A, possibly betraying his team, or B, using that as some sort of a, a gimmick or a ploy to further his alternate agenda, you think? So, like, what are your thoughts on that? All right, well, I want to thank you for having me on a one-on-one -on -one discussion Always, after, man. like, ages now. Yeah, right? But, yeah, ages, been ages. But anyway, in, in reference to Frieza, see, me, I just have to look at the previous episodes of what Frieza has been doing. He's been walking around the stadium or stage, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And any every time we've seen him, he's been foddering who whoever he's come across. So in his final form, bro. Yeah, in his final form, just casually bodying people, knocking them off with his tail, shooting their wings off, everything. Having people scared enough to just run off the stage themselves. But personally, I don't feel like Frieza is gonna betray Universe 7 because to me it's just it, it'd be so stupid for him to do that. Because if you're walking around the stage and you see Goku and Vegeta knocking off people, you see Roshi knocking off people, you're even knocking off people yourself. It makes no sense for you to betray the team that's actually winning for a team that is much weaker than your own team. Because Frieza's ultimate goal is to get brought back to life, ultimately, right? Yeah. So it makes no sense for him to, okay, I'm going to betray my strongest, my, my team, which is like the strongest team so far other than, you know, Universe 11 and 6. Arguable, yeah, yeah, arguable. Yeah just for a weaker team that's most likely going to get eliminated in the long run. So I feel like Frieza is just trying to, I feel like he's playing playing both universes because you know Frieza, he doesn't, he likes doing everything himself. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's a ruler, it's just in his nature. So I feel like he's gonna ultimately backstab Frost after he uses Frost to get what he wants, which is ultimately to, you know, play with and destroy the Saiyans in the end, which is still kind of a dumb tactic since he wants you know, to be revived. So. Right, right. Frieza I, overall is just being... Um, so so, so just, you're uh, standing <laughs> on the idea that he's not legitimately going to play his universe because you do have yeah. a point. It's like, what's the point of doing it now? When you un like when you know that your team is winning, number one, well, not necessarily winning, but you have, you're even you're even out with uh, universe six because like, both teams have, I do believe, mm -hmm. uh, eight people minus Roshi now, so it's like seven to eight. But, you know, both both universes right now stand at a pretty even number here. Um, and, and just, you know, understanding that Frieza is going up against Gohan, uh, my question to you is, like, why? I is he using that just to antagonize him and just to like, get him a, a bit more, like, under pressure? Because what's the point of watching one of your teammates fight someone and struggle and not help them and instead jumping in and fighting that person yourself? It's like, the, the rules don't state to where you can't fight your own team because uh, apparently enough you can do that <laughs> again man this is all entertainment yeah. this is all entertainment for Zeno. so if he approves of it why not right but my question to you is how far is this fight with gohan gonna go because we see him getting punched in the face we see gohan punching freeze in the face so obviously they're gonna have some sort of an engagement because i didn't really think in my opinion that we were gonna see this because based on the spoilers, it just said that Frieza was going to sit back and watch. But now we see him jumping in and having some sort of like an exchange with him. So how far do you see this fight going? And 
what is the outcome of this fight? Is someone else gonna break it up? Is, you know, is Frost going to essentially help Frieza? Like, why Gohan? Because we see Frost point out Gohan in the preview. So, like, what's your take on this fight and, and how right, is it gonna so go? Answering, answering the question of why Gohan, yeah. since Frieza, he hates Saiyans. Ultimately, just hates them. He just he wants to get rid of them, right? Yeah. So, since Goku's preoccupied with Ribian, which she she should be gone, by the way. She really should. I, yeah, I don't, I don't like her. <laughs> She's I, I don't either, man. I swear <laughs> to God. But I feel like Frieza is attacking Gohan as a way for to, to at least get back at Goku somehow. Because he still holds that resentment for Goku. Yeah. And since Gohan is still a Saiyan and somewhat represents Goku, it's like, okay, since you're a Saiyan, I will use Frost to, you know... Handle you, handle you, I guess, and then come in and also just do my dirty work to, to just play around just to get revenge on the Saiyans. But yeah, that's how I see it ultimately. Do you, do you see this resulting in one person getting the upper hand on the other, or do you oh, see no, it like see, being no, no, broken no. up? I, I feel like Gohan just needs to lay hands on Frieza. Just just this one time for everything Frieza has done to this man since he was a little right. boy. Yeah. He was bullied, literally bullied as a kid. He comes back again. It's bullied in his tracksuit. Yeah, it gets it's, it's tortured, like, yeah. Bro, Gohan needs to lay hands on this man, Frieza. I, Especially I, I if Frieza is doing this to the team, like, I'm on your team and you're gonna sit here and backstab me just to get back at my father? Like, yeah. come on now. I, I think that ultimately, <laughs> um, I, I think it's probably gonna get either uh, broken up or a third party entering. I can see Frieza and Frost working together to, you know, combat Gohan, but just like we haven't seen them for quite some time now, I think that either Khalifa or Kale, or if not both, are probably going to step in in trying to assist the Gohan because that would be a good way to showcase Frieza and Frost legitimately fighting Saiyans. Either it be Gohan, mm -hmm. Khalifa, and Kale, or maybe Gohan and just Kale, like whatever the case may be, seeing the Universe 6 and 7 Saiyans work together to fight the newly formed team of Frieza and Frost would be awesome because we know where Frieza and Frost and Frost stand as as individuals. Like they're snakes, they're they're cowards, and and mm -hmm. quite frankly, they're very deceptive. Um, but I, I think that in my opinion, what we might see going into next week is someone possibly helping Gohan because it's it's really hard to say where Frieza's final form stands with Gohan right now in his ultimate form. So I don't see Frieza going mm -hmm. golden yet because I don't think uh, Gohan's going to be the one to push him that far. I think that it might be somebody else. However, by the end of the preview, I don't, I don't know if you caught a glimpse of it, we got to see Frieza walking away, and Frost was behind him, and he looked very, very, like, menacing. And as the camera panned down, we see Frost holding out his finger, and we saw, like, a beam formulate. So my question to you is, do you think, in your opinion, that this is going to set up Frost betraying Frieza? Because, if, no, I mean, it, it's it's... It's bound to happen like in his nature because I really don't see these two working fully together until the end because they both have plans. They both have agendas and there can only be one, right? There can only be one by the end of this. I mean, I, I, I haven't heard or seen anyone say, oh yeah, if there's two of you remaining, you win. No, it's only going to come down to one person. So do you think that what we might see next week is the formation of this team ultimately being broken up by the end or Frost turning his back on Frieza because that's what I feel like I, I'm kind of getting that vibe I'm getting that vibe that Frost is gonna do something to where it's gonna cost him the team it's gonna cost him that that trust with Frieza because I, I don't know if it's gonna be due to Frost but I think that Frost is gonna have some sort of influence as to attacking Frieza per se but what, like what are your thoughts on that do you see Frost betraying Frieza or do you see them fully going together up until like a certain point in Dragon Ball to where to where, to where either they fight uh, a mutual enemy or they they end up fighting each other like like what are your thoughts on that to be honest I feel like Frieza and Frost are both playing each other behind the scenes yeah. and and they don't know it because when I was on Twitter and I saw Toshio tweeting about what Frost said about he's trying to prove something to his business or whatever yeah so Frost obviously has a motive behind what he's doing by siding with Frieza and Frieza obviously has a motive by siding with Frost so I ultimately feel like, I guess Frost at some point in the next episode realizes, okay, I don't need Frieza anymore, so I'm going to backstab him. And I feel like once that happens, then those two are just going to part and they're the little the little scheming under rocks and crap is just going to stop. But then what's the point of teaming up then? Like, what's the point of actually getting together if you're ultimately going to break up so soon? And that's only based on assumption, guys, in case you guys are wondering. We're not confirming yeah, this. We're no, just I'm going not. based off assumption. But assuming, maybe that frost does something to break that trust 
Uh, do you? I mean, because realistically speaking, I think me and you can agree that if it does come down to Frost and Frieza, I think that Frieza would be Frost. I don't know if you agree or disagree with yeah, that. Yeah, of course. Frieza so, would stomp that. So, like, that, that would be a <laughs> foolish mistake on Frost's end. But going into next week's episode, we also get to see, and, and we're going to come back to Frieza and Frost just momentarily after we get through with this. We get to see Kaba finally do something. He's fighting Topo. I think that this is going to be kind of like, I wouldn't say a slaughter, I, I, like in terms of Kaba's respect, because no. I, I could see Topo winning that fight. But in terms of Kaba versus Topo, how do you see that fight going down? Because we haven't seen much from either of those characters. We haven't, we haven't seen anything from Topo at all. And we've seen just something very brief with Kaba. So between those two, how do you see that fight going about? And, and what's your overall prediction for that little scuffle? Do you see Vegeta making the save and helping Kaba and fighting Topo? Like, wh like what are your thoughts on that in, in regards to Kaba fighting Topo? Topo fighting Kaba is just, it's just weird to me. I, is, I would never, is, right? I would never put those two in front of each other to fight. But uh, I, I'm not really sure. Kaba, I feel like at first since he's really agile and he knows how to work his you know use his environment to his advantage yeah i feel like he'll be able to hold off topo but really no not not hold off in terms of or like just survive how, long enough i guess yeah yeah survive against topo is, is like what i'm saying because I, I feel like topo is just too much for kaba as of right now i i, I don't just, know man. Like, even as a super saiyan it's like kaba hasn't done anything yeah i don't i don't feel like kaba's gonna do much to topo but do you see anybody getting involved in helping him perhaps maybe even yeah. hit, hit I, i'd like saving him? I, i'd like for vegeta to come in and like you know teach kaba another lesson but at the same time it's like eh. honestly <laughs> speaking bro i think this yeah. would be the perfect setup to have hit it topo it was because just like how hit was able to save khalifa from from disaster and kale I think that this would be a perfect moment because hit right now he's working as a team player he's using his time skip to rescue people after getting ringed out or before getting ringed out Ooh. and i think that just like we saw with uh khalifa when he saved her after kale went berserk we could see a uh -huh. similar situation to where topo beats kaba down badly to where he's about to throw him out hit makes the save jumps in which sets up ultimately for maybe hit versus topo because i was yeah i was just about to say you can't deny that but because yeah. that would be a really a big fight like even though we have goku versus jiren coming up that would also set up for something big alongside the other bigger fights we may have with like golden frieza vegeta ultimate gohan android 17 hasn't been showcased but in your opinion do you see hit being involved in next week's episode or, or most of universe 6 because we haven't seen much from from hit after uh episode 104 we haven't seen mm -hmm. much from kale or khalifa since then either so do you see any other universe 6 fighter getting involved or is this going to be strictly the 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 the, the, the events we, that we see with frost and frieza and gohan uh it's it's strictly going to be those events with frost frieza and gohan but i feel like on the side hit should have some relevance in helping kaba because as you said he's a team player and hit's really been really been trying to conserve himself overall and he's been looking out for his teammates like the other time when he used time skip to help Khalifa from falling off the stage right. versus Kale and all that stuff so and, and it could set up maybe Vegeta jumps in to teach Kaba another lesson Hit comes in to save you know save Kaba and maybe that could set up for Hit versus Vegeta as well you, you may never know that'd be a really good fight though imagine that Hit versus Topo versus uh Vegeta <laughs> like a triple Kaba threat just watching he's like master <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, but, then, but then again it's like I, what, I, what i believe is happening now is i don't know if you noticed in this episode but we're slowly starting to pick things up more and more with for example with jiren yo he didn't even move he didn't even yo, uh, he, he literally he did, plus he did not yo he did not make any <laughs> physical contact to maji kyle he he bla he pushed him with like all, all that force like i don't know if you saw it but he made yeah. no contact he 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 annihilated him bro with one shot and it was one so punch. bad <laughs> bro it was so bad to where even the kaioshin and the god of destruction that like you, you can feel the wind hitting them and goku was shocked so little by little do you see jiren displaying more of his feats maybe against rebrian and goku because in episode 109 i believe it, it was said that finally jiren begins to reveal more and more of his yeah, energy 109, 109. which yeah. overtakes goku and, and party so do you believe that rebrian might be ringed out by jiren like like what are your like what are your overall expectations for jiren going into episode 108 do you see him getting involved at all or do you see him getting kind of like you know uh, pushed aside for a bit just to showcase frieza frost and whatever they might have going on what do you think no nah, i don't see jiren really being involved in one on when uh 108 or 109 as of yet because goku he needs to do something he's been so fodder right now to me like why is Ribian not gone, bro? You're just standing there. 
saying get out of my way and she's still there like why yeah yeah <laughs> but yeah i i feel like goku just needs to get her out the way before you know is goku it going to be, is it going fight. to be goku or is it going to be jiren that rings out ribri and you think it better be goku i hope it's goku because I hope it's jiren. I'm sorry. everybody goku has like sat down he's never pushed off the ring except for universe 9 right like because Ribrian and the other, I don't know what their names were. They were literally at the edge of the map. Kawe and, and all of them, yeah. Yeah, he could have literally just used the key push or key eye, whatever you want to call it, and knocked them off. But he was just talking to him and then walked off. Like, what are you doing, Goku? Like, stop being fodder, please. So I, I hope he knocks off Ribrian. That's just me, though. I, I think I, that, I, I, think I despise that it, might, it. it might be Jiren. Because um, I, I don't, I, I can see Goku, like you said. Plus, yeah, yeah plus, definitely. plus. That, that's another, that's another way to, you know, build up the fight with Jiren. Like, you showcase more of his power before he actually just sits goku down so <laughs> yeah but what did you think of what did you think of this episode that we saw just now episode 107 would you oh say that in your God. opinion it was good character development was it like good storytelling in terms of like you know uh seeing roshi you know take what he took and then having to have vegeta survive the mafuba and you know breaking the rocks from Magetta's ear like what did you think about this episode as a whole would you say it was better than, than episode 106 or would you say that this episode was slightly inferior to previous episodes in your opinion no this episode to me was really amazing the art was on point the animation, oh, was, animation was on point was sweet bro and the music like, too like emish brought up early in vc when we were watching it together he brought up how the choreography wasn't that good like the storyboarding of the episode because it's like you have vegeta just standing there like just to look good then you have goku over here still fighting ribri and for some unknown reason like i hate her i'm sorry <laughs> yeah i do too. i don't blame you on that one <laughs> and it's and it's like uh but the part i really hated that messed up the episode was frost the def not deflecting it but reflecting what the uh the mafuba. Mafuba. yeah and using it perfectly he knows how to use it like why but does that, that, that really surprise you remember trunks bro he learned it off of a smartphone yeah but Trunks is understandable because they were they were rushing the arc. Yeah. Like the arc was rushed, so I can understand that. But right. This just came out of nowhere. He well, like, yeah. oh my god! Like it just. <laughs> how do you just reflect the Mafuba and know how to use it perfectly on your own? I mean, I, I would I would much rather him reflect it than him learning it and doing it on his own because it, it was kind of smart to see like how he how he was able to adapt what Roshi did because it, it's not like. It's not like he used it like out of his own will. Like he used Roshi's, you know, true, energy. True. Like he he reflected it. Which again, going back to uh, his body, you get to see like that white aura around him. Which you know, it, mm. I, I would say is like a barrier to protect him from getting uh, you know like absorbed through that. But you can't deny like how cool it was. Because I originally thought that maybe it was going to reflect off of Magetta or something like that into Vegeta. But seeing Frost do that, all he really did was he he reflected the Mafuba. And he guided Vegeta into the bottle. I mean, that was that was really it. I mean, it's not really hard to to do that. But overall, seeing how this episode uh, is going to play into next week, would you say that next week is going to be the beginning of some of these you know older fighters that are in the tournament, like Vegeta, Hid, Goku, Jiren, finally showcasing more and more of their power, or is next week literally going to be the calm before the storm before we get into episode 109 and 110? which are going to be the specials, and it's going to be just groundbreaking after that. So, like, a any final thoughts going into next week's episode, like, it pertains to, like, certain characters or whatnot? Next week's episode, I feel like, I feel like it's going to be, like, the startup of the fights we've been, you know, wanting to see. Because, you know how in the earlier episode, there, there would be more random fighters that pop up and try to oppose Universe 6 or yeah, 7? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we haven't been really seeing that lately, lately, except for Maji Kayo and probably a few other people who aren't that relevant, so... I feel like this going into episode 108 and the end of that, it's gonna lead up to all, all these big fights. I, 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 for one, I think if anything, um, I still stand by the idea that to build up to the other fights coming up, I think that Hit ought to be involved, Vegeta ought to be involved, like just mm -hmm. kind of having like a stare down with people like Topo, with people like Jiren, etc, etc, just to build to what's gonna be happening later. Uh, but post your comments down below, guys, what are your overall thoughts on episode 108? Uh, would you also, guys agree or disagree with what me and Daz had to say? Um, if you guys are new to the channel, punch that subscribe button. And as always, uh, turn on notifications because YouTube tends to be drunk. Daz knows it. I know it. Emish knows it. We all know how, <laughs> how bad YouTube can get. And guys, please, if you can take a minute to go on ahead and check out Daz's channel and show him some support and some love show on his videos. Love, guys. He does like some really <laughs> awesome stuff. And 
I do also, believe that. No, go ahead. Also, please just do hashtag Master Roshi in the comment section because he he's the goat. Yeah. He's the boss. <laughs> Master MVP Roshi, Roshi is is Roshi amazing. MVP. <laughs> Roshi MVP. No, he really was. I mean, the way yeah. he fell out was awesome because like he he was drained, bro. Like he just flopped Ooh. away. He was it was fucking. It was great. Like, lit. No, he stood was. up to Frost like a boss. And he saved took all Vegeta, the hits. Unsealed him. Everything, bro. He was just a boss. Took hits from Frost. Was still ready to fight, bro. Master Roshi is awesome. <laughs> Hashtag Roshi MVP, guys. And again, as I said before, uh, hopefully enough, I don't know if Daz takes requests for sprite animations, but if you guys have any sort of request for Daz, uh, comment down below and let him know what you guys want to see. Maybe he might go on ahead and do some like tournament of power stuff, some alternate stuff, because he's done some pretty cool stuff involving Super Saiyan 4 and Goku Black and you know several things for Emish's channel. Hopefully enough, we get to see something on this channel as well with some animation stuff. So go on ahead, show some love to Daz, subscribe to his channel. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope to we hope you guys enjoyed because this was a fun little conversation and we'll yep. be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day everybody. Peace.